Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's me, Tashi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification so that you can get notified every time I drop a video, okay? So let's get into this video, shall we? agency they said that you have to have your plane ticket or your international flight so that you can get your passport expedited somebody's in Vermont yep to get my passport mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't have my passport so the only booking place to get your passport in the United States for me was either Honolulu or Vermont me and my dude, we chose Vermont. <laughs> so now from here, I have to get my passport and then go back home and then I have a flight in the morning to DR. So let's just see how this go because I need my passport. We got a flight. I'm trying to, I'm trying to dance on the beach. It's lit. I got my passport. We are gonna be in DR tomorrow. All right, so I made it to DR. Woo, 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 woo. All right, so got to DR. The airport was freaking hot. Oh my God. So oh, hot, so hot, 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 Oh. The feel of the Caribbean was definitely there in the yard. Welcome you with um, some guys playing music and everything. Get it, get it, get it. I don't know, I don't have any money. And everybody's like really, really nice, um, especially trying to give you, give you your luggage. Like they pull it off of the, the belt, I forget what it's called, but they, they pull it off the belt and someone's there, so when you try to reach your, your bag, they say, no, can you show them your passport? Show them your passport, they match it to the bag, and they give you your bag. And I had a driver come pick me up, which was so nice. My friend sent me a driver to um, ride me to the Airbnb. And when I got there, I was like, oh my God, this is so nice. Y'all, I am in DR. That was the piece that I needed. So I got to, you know, have some time there for myself, got to look around and get the feel of DR. And I was like, oh my God. Hmm. Balcony in the room. When my friend got back, me and her decided to get some eat, you know, try to see, you know, little neighborhood. So we went to the hood. Yes, we went to the hood. I got um, some fried chicken and some fried rice. My girl took me to eat some real Dominican food. Look, we in the hood. <laughs> They're gonna be like, wait, that, that rice not Dominican. It's Dominican, Chinese Dominican. Chinese Dominican. <laughs> It was some Asians there who made, but they're actually Dominican Asians and they speak Spanish fluently. I was shocked hearing them too. I said, wow. So after we ate the fried chicken and rice, we went over to this bar that was like an open space bar that was like literally right around the corner. And it was karaoke night. And one of the guys sung to me. <laughs> I didn't 
pick up the mic at all. I don't do, I don't do karaoke. I don't even do karaoke at home. I'm really shy. But I can sing at the table with my friends, hey, hey. But don't give me the mic. Don't give me the mic. I'm not doing it. But we had some drinks there and we got a little tipsy. Little done up. And we um, left from there. We went back straight to the Airbnb. Okay guys, so this day we had to relax, take a break because Hurricane Elsa was running through DR, running through the tropics and the Caribbean, it was, it was running through it. We had an excursion that was um, supposed to take us out to the water, but because of Hurricane Elsa, they had to cancel it. So we still wanted to experience DR, well I know that I did, I still wanted to experience DR, so we had a cook come and cook us authentic food from DR. But we had to go get the food, so we went to a Walmart kind of, and we went on a little shopping. So shopping in DR was um, actually kind of fun and confusing sometimes because of the, you know, the pesos, the language. So I went down DR and I had extra money, but I had $300 in cash. When I got to the airport, I exchanged my money in for pesos. So with my $300, I got $13,530.60. And that was actually, they say a rip off because I got it from the airport. But if I would have went somewhere else locally, I would have got majority of my money. But I still left DR with 200 pesos after all that. DR is not expensive. Like, of course, if you want to you know, go out and get a yacht and all that other stuff. Yeah, it's, it's probably gonna cost you about 10,000 pesos, okay? So then my money is gone and then I have to get more money, but it's probably actually more than that, but I'm just saying. <laughs> so we went to the market and we got some food, fresh food and stuff for, for the lady to cook. It smells so good. Oh my God. <laughs> it smells delicious. Oh my God. Thank you, gracias. I cannot wait to eat. We got in our bikinis and we went swimming around the pool. I didn't really swim, I just sat there and was looking cute, eating my watermelon. Yeah, that's, that's what people are saying. But I freaking loved it. We had bought this, this fish and I felt like it was too small. What y'all know? What y'all know about that? <laughs> We should have got more. We had like this small fish and it was a bunch of us. It wasn't a lot of us, it was like five of us. And that just was so small. Like once it was cooked, it was like, oh my gosh, we should have got more. But all in all, the red beans was good. The stewed chicken was amazing. The, the sweet, I mean, potato salad was okay. It's not my Aunt Becky's, but it's okay. All in all, I enjoy my experience with the home cooked meal because I love authentic food. So if you know me, you know I love authentic food. So that was like a great experience to have a home cooked meal in another country. So yay for that. <laughs> So this was the day that I've been waiting for, to get out. Oh my gosh, to finally get out and see some people. Okay guys, it's been actually raining. It's been a hurricane down in the DR and we've been eating, swimming, and drinking. So today we're about to actually go out to lunch and then tomorrow we should be able to experience the, the adventures of DR. Well, me of course, cause I need to, cause I'm leaving. I'm leaving before her. She's gonna be here and I'm gonna be gone. No! I love paradise! <laughs> but anyway, we actually went out for lunch. It was a beach place, oh my goodness. It was so nice. So we sat where the sand was and we had ordered some drinks. I think we had calamari. Um, she had um, vegetable tempura. Calamari with a um, garlic shrimp and, but it's supposed to be spicy. I had regular vegetables and mixed vegetables. And I'm just saying, see y'all mixed vegetables was really good. Like it was really mixed vegetables and it tastes good. Mixed vegetables. And there was like only one carrot. <laughs> now this is a mixed vegetable, America. <laughs> you see how they did my mashed potatoes? Mm -hmm. Looks pretty good over there too. 
<laughs> so that was a plus. I mean, I'm sorry, plus. <laughs> I got to learn some salsa. Yeah, I learned how to salsa dance and merengue. I feel, I think that that's what that was called. Different techniques for all of the dances, but the guy said that I was like professional and I should take classes and really, really get into it because. <laughs> party I've ever seen in my life. Everyone was waiting to leave on a catamaran. It was like this boat, there was a boat over here, there was a boat over here, there was groups over here. It was food, it was drinks, it was people socializing. It was amazing, you could feel the energy. They had snorkeling on our boat. So I got to meet some guys on there. It was some fine men on there. But anyway, that's another story. But our boat had broke down, so we didn't get to see the dolphins um, swimming in the water. All the other boats were like on the side watching the dolphins, and we were like stuck. And they were like telling us these little stories. Oh, everyone's out there snorkeling. We're like, bring them in, bring them in, we're done. Like, we're done. It's only like, it was two people that worked there that was in the water. <laughs> And I wish I would have got this part on camera. Everybody was in the water partying. They were drinking. They were um, up on boats twerking. They had music playing. And people were on guys' heads and everything. It was, it was fun. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. I love boat parties. Like, I want to do it again. Saddest day of my life. It's time to go home. I wish I could live there. I want to live somewhere like that. And I hope that I'm wealthy enough to live somewhere in the Caribbean and help locals that are, you know, homeless, poor, and all that other stuff because it's real. But before I left, I had to get some empanadas. It was so soft. So freaking soft. It wasn't hard. Like all the empanadas that I eat here in America or Philly, Baltimore, New York. They're like really hard and crunchy. This is really, really soft. The breading was really good. Some real empanadas. I got it all in my shirt. The empanadas. You know, this is my driver. He's so sweet. <laughs> like it makes me want to go back from the food even though hurricane elsa was there woo, i still had a ball and i would love to go again don't forget guys to comment down below and tell me what you like from my trip tell me if you ever went to dr you know or tell me where i should go next but thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can get notified every time i drop a video all right so thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm. Bye.